I beat on three days feet in the woods. Okay. Shout out. And uh, I heard you on a clubhouse before, and I know you before, and I know you got some audio. Uh, yeah. Where Bone was pretty much uh, pretty much admitting to uh, setting Chug up before that incident. Yeah. And, yeah, pretty much. And I just wanted to introduce people to you so they get to know you. They can lead into that audio, and we'll play it. And then uh, you can explain it after we listen to it and, and just tell what, what, what your intent was and uh, why you did it. And, uh, and then in the future, we'll be getting you on camera and we can go more in an interview about it. So you, you sit here on Gates, not Gates the Chronicles, on <laughs> Bob first with, with John and James. And uh, go ahead, D Dog. Uh, if you can explain. You know, I'm pretty much, I'm going to shoot real homies, you know what I mean? Uh, I've been fucking with since 2003, uh, you know. Uh, pretty much, you know what I'm saying? I played, I played in the movie Star of Compton, and, uh, you know, I was around when the setup was going down, when it was quite no sure. Okay. And, and uh, so, yeah, go ahead. So, by you saying that, you know, you can't just say that. Because I believe that was a spontaneous thing, but what do you yeah. mean by the, the setup and what audio you have to support that? I, got the, I, I pretty much got the recording of Bone, pretty much dry sniffing and snitching on himself um, about who paid him to attack Shug and why he did it and all the shit that happened at Tams. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, so y'all can listen to this little piece of the audio and um, y'all determine uh, what y'all believe from it? What did he say to you, though? Well, I know what you mean? Like, when you, the you very know. first time, or what? Yeah. Because you just... understand, it's been three years. We don't even talk about it no more. Yeah. But, but originally, yeah, we you know, we talked about it every day, strategized about it every day. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. That nigga was, ter he was terrified of shit. But I didn't do it for Dre. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't do it like, no, I'm saving Dr. Dre. Me and Blair had words, and Blair called me a bitch-ass nigga. I'm like, well, we got to get down. Yeah. I wasn't saving Dre, the, the production, the white people, nothing. A lot of people kind of paint that picture like that, but it was, that ain't what happened. Yeah. But Dre appreciated me punching on Blair. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, Blair broke, yeah. Blood hit me off. Yeah. I really ain't got to do shit. I could just, you know what I mean? I really ain't got to really do shit. I can just sit and live, uh, dog. He hit you that good? Yeah, for sure. Damn. I can just sit and don't do shit. If I wasn't a filmmaker, I'd just be out of the left. Went to Atlanta. <laughs> like the rest of these <laughs> niggas. Yeah, okay, you go for yourself, two for yourself. What do you do, man? Man. Yeah? Yeah, he hit me off, bro. I thought everybody, everybody know that. You ain't heard that? I saw niggas. That's what niggas is mad about. No, I ain't know. Yeah. I, I ain't no Drake Brady tree. Yeah. Damn, so you just really, so you working just because you love this shit, man. Yeah, exactly. Damn. Mm -hmm. I figured Dre would do that. Yeah. And he like, and he go, he go a half a million to go do Compton's Finest, the documentary, and go do that. He gave me half a million just to go do that. Damn. Not even counting the bread he gave me personally, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Love like, well, you got a rich friend for life. Yeah. Hell yeah, you got this big bad wolf out the way. I saw he looking at it. He's like, man, that nigga been the thorn on my side all my life. I said, Dre, I said, man, your hands was bigger than mine. Blood, you should have been punched that nigga in the face. He would have left you alone. This ain't in you, know. I know. I said, and I said, Dre, you bigger than me, blood. Damn. Mm -hmm. Damn, I was the hell of I was the. I said, I just want you to understand, Dre. I didn't have no fucking gun. He's like, man, I know you didn't have no gun. I seen y'all there. I know that was your radio. A lot of people believe that. But on that on that on that crime watch show, I saw it, and they tried to say that your shit was in the car. What the gun? On the crime watch daily, you seen that? Man, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. It's all lies, blood. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm telling you, it, yeah, it yeah. disappeared that you had one because the way you came. 
like a gorilla around Yeah, here. that's the, that's their excuse for not doing nothing to me. Oh, we thought Blood had a gun. Niggas know I didn't have no gun. Niggas just made excuses for, you got 15 niggas out there and nobody restrained me. That's why Blood believed they set it up. How this nigga gonna come over here and, and how this nigga gonna, look, I, just, I, I explained it to you, Terry Carlin. Yeah. Like, Blood, go up to uh base camp, they gonna pay you. I jump in his face. Right? They call, Terry called who? Shit? Yeah. Okay. I've told you the story a million times, but I don't think it's registered. Terry called me. This okay. is Shug. Remember I told you I empathized with Shug a little bit? Yeah. Not sympathize, I empathize with him a little bit. Yeah. Terry called him. Yeah. Put this play out how we're going to get this money, but you got to go up to base camp. Oh, and a nigga bone up there too, but they got a check for you. <laughs> They're like, oh, fuck bone. I'm going up to get my check. Yeah. So he comes up there. And then, all oh, hell break loose. I jump in his face. We about to get down. Da, 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 the shit go bad. He skirt. Right? Yeah. Terry called him again. Blood, we heard what just happened. Come over to Nob House. We mounting up. We about to get this money. Fuck bone. Come over to Nob House. He come over to Nob House. An hour later, here I come again. Punching him in his face. He said, he think to himself, the Pyro's setting this shit up. You understand? It's the West Side Pyro's. Yeah. He's the East Side Pyro. Which he didn't, he didn't knock Terry out before. Wow. So in his mind, he like, these niggas set me up. He tried to run Terry over. He tried to run Nob over. He tried to run me over. He tried to run everybody over because he believed it was a setup. Wow. But I didn't have no gun. So his exit was, oh, they trying to kill me. He got, he got a gun. I don't trust, you know what I mean, instead of just getting out and getting down. Yeah. And you know, a nigga say a lie long enough, blood, he start believing his own lie. You know that. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking. Yeah. Yeah, you start believing it. You start, he believes. Even if it wasn't, that didn't happen yeah, that way. Exactly. You, your mind can condition the thing. Exactly. He's, con it's, he's locked, his people's locked into, that was a setup. They called, and that's why the police, because soon, first thing he tell them two hours later is Bone ran up on me with a gun. So as soon as they come in the room, the hospital, I'm handcuffed. Yeah. You had a gun, and they called you around there. Dude, I said, ain't nobody called me around there. Yeah, somebody called, because Terry telling them. I popped up in here, Bone, they set me up. Terry told me to come in and then Bone tried to get me. Then I go over here, they set me up. I go over here, then he come Bone in, they call Bone around there with a gun. Wow. That was his original story two hours later. Yeah. And then they cuffed me to the bed. You feel me? Yeah. I'm like, I ain't had no gun. That was my walkie talkie. Yeah, well, Shug said, well, I'm saying this. I'm telling y'all, yeah, you know what I mean? And this is how the whole conversation with the fight came. This is how we started talking about the fight. Cause, blah, I'm defending, I ain't had no gun, and nobody called me. Yeah, we was arguing this and this and this and that. We was getting down, da 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 You know what I mean? But I had no gun. I fired on blood. After that, I don't know what happened. See what I'm saying? Yeah. The whole original conversation came from him and his story, so I had to combat his story. What he's saying about me. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. And then, uh, just, just like you had to do with the, uh... With a boy, with my case. Exactly. Yeah, okay. It was kind of that same situation. Like, yeah. nah, blood, that ain't what happened. That ain't, that ain't what's going on. What's going on is, yeah, I fired on blood. That was a walkie-talkie. Yeah, yeah, and nobody called me. They're like, nah, Mr. Sloan, somebody called you. You know what I mean? Because yeah. like, it really looked that way. Yeah. But I just stumbled up on them, blood. Yeah. So then they said, listen, we got Shug's phone, Nod's phone, Terry's phone, um... Uh, Drax phone, um, about seven phones they got, yeah. and we taking, and we got your phone. We taking your phone. All right, so, they, so then they left. They come back the next day. They take the cuffs off. <laughs> Nobody called you. I said I told y'all. I said they called each other. They was called. They was blowing each other up. He said they said for eighteen. I mean I think they said for twenty minutes, something like twenty eight calls was made between them. He said but nobody called you. I said, what they tell you? He said, they was, they, they was on you. I said, boy, I see why you're a detective. You didn't figure this shit out. And that's when they got off me. Mm. Wow. Because they really, because Shug told them they called Bone around there to kill me. He had a gun. I had to do that. See what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, when, that's, that, was, that was how he negotiated to turn himself in. Yeah. I'm going to turn myself in. The blood tried to kill me. Terry set me up. They was all together. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they got him to the meeting for me to come around there and punch on blood. Blood believe that. That's the way it appeared. That's, it did appear that way. It was weird that, I, you know, I, I tell everybody the devil lined that shit up for me. But I missed my turn. Going to set. Yeah. Look down probably, seen the orange cones, the white vans, and missed my, ah, oh, blood, missed my, I was so mad about the original argument. Yeah. 
Let me go around. Let me come around Tams and come back 142nd and go to Pomalee. I was going to go around the shit. And when I got to Tams, there they were. That's all it was, blood. I said, let me see what these niggas talking about. And then when I pull up, they don't be me. And I hear him, blood, on Pyro. I'm going to fuck that bitch ass nigga up on Pyro. I'm gonna That's all I hear. I don't hear nobody else with blood voice. And that's what set me off. I jumped out that motherfucker went crazy. Yeah. You came so vicious. Nigga, motherfuckers know how to respond. They just marked out, blood. They could have beat me up. They could have They could have said, no, nah, blood. If I, and that's what I was telling the pirates. Not one nigga said no. Like one nigga didn't say, nah, I've got one across the street. Only person seen me was nah. Then he punked the game because he already took 10 grand and he working with Terry and them too. So he trying to really... Wiggle, 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 wiggle. He wiggling, and he went across the street. If I would have jumped out that truck and now I'm like, no, nah, blood not right here. I would have stopped. I'm like, blood, we gonna line this shit up, you fat bitch. What do you wanna do with that? It would have turned into that. But nobody said nothing. I jumped out that motherfucker, ran up on them. They all just and I went straight to blood. Blood had called me a bitch an hour earlier. Yeah. Get out the truck. He closed the door. I found him. He burned out. Ah! Oh. People are like, he, he like where, the, where, the, where, the, where that car is, yelling, Blood don't feed me! Blood don't feed me! Y'all see that blood don't feed me! And I yell, pull in Tams! Bitch ass nigga! And he pulls in Tams, and I ran over there like Steve Austin. Grabbed the door again, he closed it back, I fired. Blood fired back. Got me good too. And blood, just like you sitting there, blood locking it up with me sitting in the car. Yeah, you out there. And I'm right. trying to get him out the truck, but he, he keep closing that door. Yeah. It got to the point where I was in it trying to pull him out that motherfucker. Ooh. What he doing? Getting me off of him, elbowing me, trying to, you know, duck it. Bless him, I'm, I'm going to kill you. And I was reaching for shit. And that's when I got up on the running board. Okay. And blood kind of shoved me off. And I can see him now. It was a hell of a move. Turned the wheel that way, right? Yeah. All the way. Yeah. And gunned it. What the truck gonna do? Only in reverse. So it whipped you. Whip it whipped. It whipped the shit and knocked shit, knocked me off my feet. And that's when he bagged over my legs. Then he bagging out, ready to go that way. He see me. Oh, this nigga fucked up. Oh, oh, this nigga. And I said, Oh, Blair gonna get out and stop me. And Blair, and this according to the police, he waited 6.5 seconds watching me. This nigga can't get up. And I nigga turned the wheel. I could see the wheel coming back, but I was like, oh my God, I know this nigga had. Before I could finish that thought, that truck was coming. It went right over me. But Terry had walked up on me to do his little smirk shit. Like, what was Terry finna do, though? I don't know, blood. I don't know. A lot of the stuff is questioned. Like, Terry walked up real close behind me. He, Terry got so close to the action. Yeah. You know, some homies say he was gonna fire on me. Some people say he was gonna restrain me. He walked up behind me. He could touch me. That, wow. When I was getting down. Yeah. And then, and then the backup happened. Oh, okay. And then he walked up on him while I was on the ground. I, could, I remember looking up at him. And, he had, and I was like, damn, what's Terry going to do? I thought Blood was going to kick me or something. Right? I look up, up at Blood. Blood looked down at me like, mm. yeah. And Blood stick his hand in his pocket. And then here comes Shug. So in his mind, oh, these niggas set me up. Terry, too. Knob, everybody. That nigga missed Knob by inches. Yeah. And he ran Terry over. Terry, he, he could have stopped that truck. He ran Terry ass over on purpose, bud. Because he thought Terry called me around there. Yeah. I know that for a fact. That's he really believed that. And that's why they kept saying, who called you? Who called you around there? They was, they was on that shit. And they didn't believe for a minute in that hospital room that nobody called me. They're like, nah, bullshit, bullshit, bone. These homicide detectives, they're like, bullshit. It's like six of them in there. We know what happened. Yeah. You ran up on him with a gun. Well, I said, nah, y'all, uh, uh, well, y'all, y'all got me fucked up. No, I yeah. didn't. I fired on blood, but I didn't have no gun. Yeah. Now, D, though, you and Bone was real tight, and you was working with him on the set and all of that. What was the reason and what led you to us, uh, you know, to, to betray a friend? Because some people would call that being snitching or working with the ops or whatever to record him saying these things. If you could lead in and tell us why you did that. Well, basically, the reason why I made the audio is to want to expose that the nigga is a rat bone. You know what I'm saying? He attacked Shug and then made a statement on him. Um, 
you know. So basically, what I did was basically uncover the truth from the horse's mouth, and um, pretty much that's it. I mean, in a nutshell, uh, the audio speaks for itself. Once you play it, all right. So you guys just heard the audio, um, and y'all determine what y'all want from this. Uh, he got about three or four hours of this. Y'all know we don't have enough time, and I don't have enough time to dissect this, but any of you big YouTubers that's out there that want to break this whole whole thing down, D-Dog is willing to play it. So... Yeah, pretty, pretty much, um, uh, he's he working with crooked detectives and crooked DAs to get shit locked up. Or so, to keep him locked up, because he is locked up. <laughs> yeah, it's no telling on my part, you know what I'm saying, because he's the one working with the detectives and the district attorney. Okay, and um, he was given, he was, he was explain given, explain to people what they just heard so they'll understand what <coughs> they just heard. Well, basically, Ball was given immunity in court. And at the end of the day, he's the reason why shit is locked up right now. He's one, of the, he's one of the main reasons. And you say that because you said if he would have never gave the statement, they wouldn't have been able to get the, as far as they did on the case. Is that your yeah, understanding? Yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, he made a statement in uh, Linwood Memorial on the day, that, the day the accident happened when he got hit, uh, talking to Detective Martinez. And you saying being a part of rules, that's just against all rules, right? Yeah, that's from the gate. I mean, well, Bob's not a part of rules, he's a blood, but at the same time, we fought part of the same car. I got you. Know, you. So, My mistake for mistaking so, that way. And so, like I, and so, like I say, you know, he told, he attacked the homie. And Diddy told. So all these all these fuck niggas out here riding with ball, y'all niggas secondhand snitching. You ask me. You feel me? So if you fuck with ball, you fucking with a rat. Period. Okay. And so uh you have had conversations. Who are all the three people that was at the car wash that's in the I know Marvin Kinsey, I told Lamar was one, I know Big Knob was one. And who do you know the Jim, other Jim Bob. Jim Bob was another nigga. Captain Okay. Now yeah, he was a, you know, he was another nigga out there with the Bulls kit that was against the homie. You know what I'm saying? Besides him and Ball. Them was the main two niggas that was out there with the dumb shit. That's the reason why I shouldn't get out of the truck. All that other shit, talking about shit was scared to get out of the truck. I'm not if a nigga got straps if, if I ain't got one, I'm not getting out neither. You feel me? So at the end of the day, like I said, you know, Ball he you know, he, he put his foot in his mouth, you know what I'm saying, he rushed the homie, you know what I'm saying, and then, he, and then he, he turned around and made a statement, so that's the big thing that's telling. And he got detectives on the side, and he got crooked DAs on the side that gave him immunity. Okay. Well, I heard that you uh, know of a situation where Bone has been defensive about this. I know you don't care about speaking out on it, because you just call a ball a yeah. ball a strike a strike, where he recently... Uh, Check someone at a funeral. Do you want to speak on that or you want to leave that alone? Well, you know, I heard he ran up on Marv a taller around his, around his mouth, but like I say, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I told him he was a rat to his face at Gino's house. So, and when I told him that, you know, his response, he put his head down, and his response was, I, I told him I should because I thought he told first. And I told him I think that ain't how this shit go. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And, and then, like I said, he tried to clean it up with the, he tried to tell me to look out for the, the re, the re, um, the, uh, the, the re when he take his statement back, but it was too late, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he did what he did, you know? That's right. So, I know we made this quick, y'all, and we just threw this out. This is where you get the stuff on bond first, because Reggie Wright's all progression, y'all, now. So, Reggie Wright can talk now. So, niggas stand by. And you got anything else you want to say, uh, Big uh, before we get you on? Hey, just, just stay tuned. The rest will be coming out soon. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out why your boy Whack, man. He, he constantly got shit name in his mouth, man. What's that all about? Yeah, D-Dog, I've been noticing that a, a little bit lately. I don't know if something that happened between them. Uh, it's something that happened between them, because usually when Whack is speaking on stuff like that, it's because uh, he done heard something and um, something done got back to him. So I'm hoping that's what it is. But I'll have a private conversation with him and, uh, and then try to get to the bottom of that to see what's up. 
And then if not, we'll talk about that. Cause For sure. Yep. D Dog, R- respect, sure. man. Appreciate you uh, coming on, getting the record straight. I know I, I, I called you, I didn't uh, get you on camera, but you know, I told you, I've been telling you, I gotta wait till this tail is off me. And once this tail off, we're gonna, we're gonna do something together where we expose the truth. Because, sure. you know, sure. like I said, sure. Suge ain't got no voice right now. And, uh, you know, hey, when the nigga come home, we may tell Red, nigga, fuck you. And then that's what it yeah. is. But until he tell me that to my face, or until he tell me that, I ain't gonna just let niggas uh, lie on him. You can tell the truth. You can call the ball, you can call the strike. But just don't just lie on him. That point right there. Respect, D-Dog. Yep. Oh, for sure, Red. All right, peace.